my name is uh, Kjetil Borch. I'm uh, from Norway, rowing for Horten Rowing Club, same as Olaf. Uh, I started rowing in 2003. I'm um, currently rowing in the single at the uh, second World Cup here in Eton. The World Cup in Munich was uh, the all-time high, uh, the top of the curve. Uh, and the Olympics was obviously the lowest point of the curve. Uh, so uh, trying to pick up the, the tread from the Olympics and gain motivation and inspiration and like, guts to keep on going. Uh, it was a little bit hard in the beginning, but um, after the Olympics, uh, I, I set myself some, a new set of goal, goals. Uh, the Europeans with Mills in, uh, in Italy and um, also the head of the Charles. And uh, during the, the winter, I've, I've been a lot of, I've been a lot of, um, a lot of inju injuries and uh, a lot of sickness. So from from January to, to March, I lost about 200 training hours. So it's it's not been a good preparation for this season, but things turn out to, to go in the right direction. For this year, it's, uh, it's the uh, World Championship in South Korea. And uh, it will, we will make it to the final and we will uh, try to um, to give uh, give our best and hopefully to, to earn a medal. That's that's the goal. Anything else is not good enough for us. We have been sitting in the double since 2010, and now is the time to to kick someone out. I started rowing first in 2001 uh, because my mom and dad saw an article in the local newspaper saying we want new recruits for the rowing. Now I tried tried a couple of months, but uh, all the rowers was six, seven, eight years older than me, so. I skipped out, but uh, the main reason was the social thing about rowing, uh, because a lot of my friends started rowing, and I was playing uh, handball and doing kickboxing. And they said, "I hey, will. Why don't you try again? Come down." And I said, "Okay, I'll, I'll give it a try." And here I am, ten years later. Olaf has always been a kind of idol, uh, but also as a mentor, he's always been coming back from World Cups or Olympics coming in, into the training room with our, with us, the juniors, like telling us, why the heck do you do that? Do this instead, shape up, you're too slow. <laughs> always being a little bit grumpy to get us a little bit better. And um, well, it's always been, always been a great man to, to uh, have in the club and uh, a great inspiration. And I think without, without Olaf, I wouldn't be here today. Well, for Norwegian and Scandinavians, um, Mostly, they 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 are very uh, have a kind of relations to the conditions, the weather conditions, and the climate, uh, and and also the nature, uh, close bonds. Uh, well, uh, I think um, the Norwegian heritage is uh, it's uh, it's mostly uh, bound up by by the nature, and almost everybody in Norway got their own cottage up in the mountains to like have time off and enjoy the nature and. What Norway can give them. So, uh, same same in rowing. Uh, it's 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 a beautiful way to experience the nature. It's, it's great traveling around the world, and but still have my home base back home, easy and calm. And uh, it's it's um, it's like it's like a little mother ship that you just travel out out from, battle, and then go back to relax, recover, and get better. I got my own Facebook page, uh, like a, a fan page that I opened last year and uh, well surprisingly there's a lot of fans not only from Norway but from Czech Republic from the United States and and uh, Croatia and all over so uh, there's actually a lot of uh, people paying attention abroad not only in Norway. I'm linked up to the world roaming on Facebook so all the news and all the updates are clicking in on my on my wall <laughs> on Facebook so uh, it's a great way to uh, to keep, uh, keep updated and uh, get the latest news. My life as a rower, well, um, I'll say I'm, I'm dedicated. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to, to actually being involved in this sport and being able to experience it from this point of view. It's hard to like describe me what kind of rower I am, but uh, I'm, I'm very eager, very eager to, um, to learn new things and get better.